Many fans through Western New York will know this guy right off the bat. Russ Adams spent a lot of time with the Toronto Blue Jays, not too far away from here. So Western New York and Southern Ontario, very familiar stomping grounds for you. Welcome to Buffalo. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I've, been, I've spent a lot of time in this area and uh, I've got to know it pretty well. So I'm excited about a new season in, uh, in uh, Western New York. What kind of vigoration does it give for Russ Adams at this point of the season when you know you can turn the page after another year and look forward to the brighter future of a new season? Well, it is a fresh start. I'm, I'm, you know, definitely looking forward to it being with a new organization, and uh, you know, hopefully having an opportunity to, um, you know, prove that I can get myself back to the big leagues, and and um, you know, and, and just enjoy my time here in Buffalo, and hopefully uh, have a good season. When you go to a new organization like you've done, shifting gears, you've got to not only impress the coaches, but you've also got to make your mark on the players. What are some of the things when you do try to make that impression that? you spent some time focusing on this off season and through spring training well i think uh spring training is just a big key and the good thing the good thing with this organization is uh it's a it's a group of great guys and um you know guys that i've played against for a while and have known for quite some time just uh never played with them actually but um you know you, you kind of work all those things out in the spring and and uh, like i said it's a good group of guys and and uh looking to have a good time you're slated to play in the infield. You can play up the middle, either side, if you want to. Where, where do you like to play and spend most of your time? Uh, well, uh, you know, I'm naturally a, a middle infielder, but I've, I've played in the outfield. I've played some third. I've played uh, a little bit of first, uh, sparingly. But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm prepared to play wherever wherever they ask me to play. I think that's part of my job uh, at this point in my career. I've, uh, you know, it's one of the things I'm trying to do is prove that I can play different places and, and uh, be versatile. So, uh you know, I'm ready to go wherever they throw me. Do you remember your time in Buffalo fondly when you were traveling through the last few years? Yeah, I've uh, actually I've been here I've been here quite a bit, and uh, it's it's always been a great place to play. I've enjoyed it, and um, you know, just looking forward to to this being my home now. Any different being on the inside versus being a traveling guy coming through here just through the course of uh, another stop, another city, and another series? Uh, you know, it, I guess that's that remains to be seen. Um, you know, it's still early, but. Um, you know, like I said, I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, it's always seemed like a great, great organization from the outside. So, um, you know, it, it's exciting to be here. Well, congratulations on getting the call to Buffalo and best of luck as the season begins. All right. Thank you. Well, Bison fans, this man is no stranger to coming to Coca-Cola Field. Last year, you were probably shrieking when he stepped onto the field. This year, you can be elated because Jason Pratty hits the ball so well in this ballpark. What is what makes it the biggest difference for you to seeing the ball in this park? I don't know. I've, you know, I've always felt comfortable here. It's just uh, you know, played here the last couple of years, and you know, it's just one of those parks. Um, it's like Durham. You know, whenever I go to Durham, I feel real good. Louisville, I feel good. This is just one of those parks that I tend to see the ball well, and and you know, at the time, I'm able to put some good swings on it. So hopefully, I can uh, have a nice one here with a lot of games. Does that make it easier knowing that you're so familiar with these surroundings, coming away from spring training? A little bit of a layout for you? Absolutely. I mean, you know, I'm 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 real familiar with this league. You know, real familiar with all the parks. So you know, j just that that in its own makes you you know a little more comfortable at the plate and. Coming here and knowing that I've, I've hit well here obviously puts in the back of your mind a little bit of confidence to to know that it's not a park that you struggle at or have a tough time seeing. So it's it's definitely it's definitely a bonus, you know, staying in a place that's familiar. How much of it was it outside the comfort level for you coming to a new organization after your longevity in the twin system? You know, it wasn't that bad. Um, you know, I bounced around a little bit. I was with the Rays, got Rule Five sent back here and there. So, you know, that that's just part of the game. It's just one of those things that. You know, you, you just got to, you know, you never know. I mean, you're just kind of that asset. And whatever, whatever they say goes, you know, you have no control over it. So um, definitely they'll come in here and, and being around these guys and everything. It's been a very, very comfortable, comfortable switch. And this team reminds me of a lot of the um, Tampa teams I used to play on, pretty good teams, you know, a lot of a lot of well teams, a lot of championship type teams, you know, getting the playoffs all the time. So it's, look, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good year. You like to get things rolling right away on the clubs that you've been on? Um, you know, I've always been a little bit of a slow star. That's been been a little bit of a downfall. I tend to try to catch up a little bit. A um, couple years that I have had real good years throughout. You know, I start out hot. So, you know, that, that that's obviously the biggest goal is to start out hot and, and let yourself maybe drop a little bit rather than have to climb back off of that 230 or, you know, 240 and climb back up to the 280 and 290. But, you know, I mean, it's with this team, um, it's, it's it's looking like hopefully, you know, they, they say hitting's contagious and this, this team can definitely hit. So hopefully, hopefully it gets contagious all year. How about hitting and the run production that you guys were able to produce in spring training? I mean, that's unheard of. Well, I mean, it, you know, 
I played against Servanac, I played against Hessman, I played against Adams, I played against, you know, against and now with all these guys. And, you know, I know that a lot of those guys are feared hitters playing against them. You know, you come in and you don't want to leave something up to Servanac or Hessman or, you know, guys like that. And then with, with the young guys, with their first, you know, first time in AAA, like Tole and Davis, I mean, you know, this this is definitely a team that you look at one through nine and there's not really a spot where you look to go after. I mean, anybody can hurt you at any time. So it's, it's going to be it's going to be a fun, fun year. I've heard the hitters talk about the hitters. What have you been able to see from our pitching staff? You know, I've been I've been real impressed. I mean, that, that, that's been the spot that I'm not real familiar with coming in. Didn't know my, many of the pitchers. Faced a couple of these guys last year, but it's it's a pretty different team as far as the staff um, from what I remember last year on this team. I mean, there, there's a couple familiar faces, but, you know, I've been real impressed with the way the pitchers, you know, battle. They go after the hitters, and we got a we got a pretty solid defense out here too. And I think they know that that you know you pitch to contact, you put let them put the ball in play, and we got some guys who can pick it, who can chase the ball down. You know, got a good middle infield, good corners. I mean, we're pretty pretty solid all the way around. So, you know, if if, if everything can click, it's it's gonna it's gonna be definitely definitely good. You brought the house down with some of your defensive plays, not only in this park but throughout the league. How fun is defense for you? You know, that, that's always been the. Like I guess you could say a big pride of mine. You know, I've always I've always loved playing defense. I've always loved playing center, going out there. You know, making diving catches, running balls down the gaps to help the pitchers. Uh, you know that that's just been a real thing that that I've always wanted to. You know, keep going is is defensively is. You know, I want to be the best, and you know, in, in my mind, I am the best. You know, I mean, obviously, I know. You know, it, it, but. But that's how you got to think, and you know it's it's one of those things where I'd rather go out and make a diving catch and save two runs and hit a home run for two runs. That's just my mentality, um, and just looking looking all the way around, you know, it's not only me out there, but I know Feliciano, Martinez. I we got a pretty solid outfield right now that, that can, that's definitely gonna gonna make some nice plays out here and make it exciting out there. Well, welcome to Buffalo officially, and best of luck getting a hot start with you and the herd. Thank you very much. All right.